We know exactly what to do, that's why we're amazing And every time we touch the mic, it's fire that we're blazing Baby, we got all of the pretty girls waving to Toy Collector 2020. Today we're going to review Marvel's Legend, Built the Figure, Zorbit Man, Jack and Lantern. But before I do so, let's flip this bad boy to his back and let's do some reading. And it says here, these nightmarish villains torment the innocent and fight to take down Spider-Man. As you can see on the left, we got Jack and Lantern and the right, we got Morbius. And I gotta say, the artwork looks pretty amazing. I like how they got Mobius uh, with his mouth over his team short. It looks like he's about to munch on somebody's neck. And I like how they got Jack o' Lantern. Look at that little smirk. Like he's like, yeah, that's right. That's how we do it. But anyway, at the bottom, we got all some action figures you would need in order to build a Zorbi Man. Let's take a closer look over here. And as you can see in the package, we got uh, Mobius on my left hand side. We got Jack o' Lantern on my right. Now, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open and get a better look. Now he's out of his package, as you can see, he looks good. I'm gonna spin him around so you guys get a better look. And as you can see, he is well put. Everything about him is on point. I love the way they have the flames coming out from his back of his head. I love that translucent look, especially coming out of his eyes. Uh, I love the way the head scope is. Love that little smirk he has. Looks really nice. But as far as the art articulation goes, head goes down but not much as you can see it only goes a little bit down a little bit up but it does go a full 360 all the way around arm spins all the way around uh, upper arm also spins all the way around double joints to elbows wrist also spins all the way around stomach goes down goes up leg goes up down out in double joint to knees and the ankle also spins around only problem I have with this figure here is unfortunately he came with two left feet so it's kind of hard to pose him the way I wanted him. But it is what it is. Not saying that every jack o lantern is going to come that way. Unfortunately this one did. Now as far as the paint app goes, the head is well painted. It's blended on the right area. Shaded. Uh, Got to get the credit on that. Looks real good. Especially the yellow on his uh, smile. It's pretty on point. Uh, he's pretty consistent all the way through the body. Um, the holster is real nice painted, especially the, the pumpkin bones, real nice. Uh, only thing uh, my problem is, is the stamp right here. Not sure why they keep stamping them, knowing that it's, uh, it has the, the imprint on the bottom of the shoe. But besides that, it's pretty good. Uh, it comes with some cool accessories. As you can see, it comes with a sickle, the rocket broom, and the pumpkin bomb and also the left leg of absorbing man as you can see once i uh, uh put the other once i get the other leg i will do a few review a uh, review on absorbing man i hope you guys like my video and if you did hit the like subscribe leave a comment i'm the toy collector 2020 i'm out of here thank you for watching peace